In this video, I want to show you how you can be more productive using IDE features when you want to write Kubernetes resources. So we specify these Kubernetes resources typically in YAML files, which are not the well most easiest um, syntax. So if we're about to write some YAML file, which are well key value pairs for objects and sub-objects and so on, um, we have to look up the documentation for Kubernetes or OpenShift to write these um, Kubernetes resources. And we can use actually two um, IDE features that help us being more productive and actually remembering all the syntax. So for example, if we are about to write some Kubernetes service, we can specify a so-called live template that help us providing all these information. This is true for services and even for more um, complex objects like Kubernetes deployments. We can have a template here that uh, provides, for example, all the names and the images necessary to get there faster. And what is also really helpful, there is an IDE plugin for Kubernetes for IntelliJ that help us actually specifying um, new things in our YAML file. If we are, for example, about to add liveness and readiness probes for our Kubernetes um, cluster, we can do so. And using the auto, uh, auto completion feature of the IDE. For example, this should be an HTTP GET liveness probe to the path, well, root and the port 8080. And if we are about to add a readiness probe as well, we can also do so using HTTP GET and a path to, for example, some application resources hello and a port again. And the issue when we're writing YAML files is that you really have to um, pay attention of the intendation of these objects. For example, if you intended more, then it's actually here a sub-object. And the same if is true if you go in the other direction. And now the plugin support of IntelliJ will help us that it says it actually doesn't know this element here, but this one is the correct, um, correct sub-object and it will help you providing these auto completion features with control space that help you seeing everything that is there and that can be selected. The um, live templates are a very powerful feature of um, IntelliJ that, for example, for Kubernetes can be used to specify your own templates and that are also really helpful for all kind of um, coding of all kind of sorts to um, help you be more productive because uh, on all the things you usually use while coding, no matter which framework, no matter which technology, you can specify live templates and you will be faster and faster. And this support comes from the Kubernetes plugin that is there for IntelliJ. So I hoped I could give you some ideas to be more productive writing Kubernetes resources. Thanks for watching.